Good morning and welcome to today's video. I'm out here at Mount Kutha and I'm trying to answer the question, what's the best GoPro mount for capturing a fast downhill descent? So I've got my um, trusty helmet mount. The good old GoPro chesty. And the K-Edge uh, Garmin adapter there for the GoPro. So um, yeah, we're going to do a bit of a comparison. Uh, I'm going to hit the Mount Kutha front descent three times. Uh, I'm putting those three videos side by side and see which one of them is the best. Uh, yeah, they're all going to be a little bit different. They'll offer a slightly different perspective, but hopefully at the end of today's video, um, I'll have a, um, a better idea of um, which method captures the best downhill video. All right, uh, but first, the climb, got to get up there. I'm not going to push it too hard. I've got uh, three reps to do on the other side, so <laughs> see you at the top. New service, no KOM markers. As you can probably see, the wind's going to be the biggest factor today. So, I'm not going to push it too hard on the descent. So first up, testing the K-Edge uh, GoPro mount. Well, here we are. We've um, got a K-Edge out front and as you can see there's a bit of wind noise. Um, I wanted to let the car go at this stage, see if I could give it enough room to stay out of the way. Speed, speed limit down here is 50 k's an hour. so. You can see over the rough stuff there, um, the K-Edge out front does pick up a bit of uh, road vibration. Uh, you can also hear that um, vibration as the mount, uh, as the GoPro or even the Garmin uh, shifts within the mount as it's up and down. So yeah, not too bad. You can see also the, um, the out front um, follows the motion of the bike. And here I am getting back up to the top pulling up there. Yeah so that wasn't too bad um, as you can see I got caught behind a car there. It is pretty windy out there so I'm gonna take it easy. This time testing out the GoPro chesty. Uh, as you can see uh, some people like to call it crotch cam um, because it does um, put the camera right up under your sternum and you can see your knees popping up in front of your chest there if you're in the tuck. You can see the insides of my elbows. You can also see uh, the bottom of my chin. Um, I'm looking down to make sure that it's pointing in the right direction. Um, one of the problems I find with the chesty is that you really have to make sure that the angle uh, is right so that you can see the road in front of you. If you're sitting up nice and high, it's, um, you know, you, you can see the, the front of the bike over the top of the handlebars and down onto the uh, onto the road but if you're in a full tuck basically you see the back of the stem and the top tube and the insides of your elbows and the bottom of your chin so yeah as you can see you're sitting up nice and high here all right time for something different yeah so i can't um waste too much more time up here yeah, the gopro on the, the helmet mount there Last descent was pretty quick. Still, um, it's pretty windy out there, so I need to take it easy. I'll get down there and uh, straight off to lunch, I think. Okay, so this time we're testing the GoPro helmet strap. Um, it's one of the simplest um, GoPro mounts you can find. 
does require sometimes um, to have the right sort of helmet to make sure you get a good firm uh, base on the helmet. The other thing is if your um, if your helmet isn't quite uh, the right shape, maybe some of the vents are a little bit open, or if parts of the helmet are a little bit flimsy, then you can't really strap it down hard. But here we go. Um, as you can see, again, like the chesty, you do have to make sure the angle is correct. And I've got a, I don't think I've got it quite right here. Um, and it does follow the motion of my head. So uh, the closer I get to the stem, the more of the road that you can see. So it does get a bit of vibration, but my head, I don't know, and the helmet seem to damp dampen that vibration quite a bit, uh, which is a good thing. Um, also, it follows the motion of the head, and you can see if my helmet or my head slightly tilted to the left, you'll get the, the tilted horizon there. Um, but the bike moves beneath me, so I don't get the same uh, kind of lean happening. I think uh, you can see here that, yeah, head check, and yeah, all good. And uh, yeah, so full comparison to come. Yeah, so that was pretty good fun. Uh, my neck hurts already. <laughs> oh man, holding my head up, far out. Every time I look down too, to pull it back up. Gonna uh, switch back to the chesty, just roll in home, and uh, I'll do the comparison a bit later. Cheers. Yeah, so this is where the chesty comes into its own. Uh, it's actually uh, quite handy to demonstrate handling, um, you know, if you're on a technical downhill or getting out of the saddle, that sort of thing. You can see here, on your right. yep, climbing, on your right. avoiding pedestrians, pedestrian. pedestrian. <laughs> yeah, cornering again. So just a few final notes. Started out with a K-Edge, um, out front Garmin GoPro combo mount. Um, it's firm once you get it on there for the Garmin. Um, it's quite easy to attach the GoPro. It's always in the same position. There's a little, um, you can adjust the, the angle forward and back, but it is locked onto the handlebars. So it moves with the bike as you corner. Sometimes it's good to have that one of the um, cons, I guess, is the Garmin seems to bounce up and down inside the mount um, over the rough stuff. Yeah, so the next one was the, uh, the GoPro Chesty, which is a firm favourite of mine. Um, the only downfall with the GoPro Chesty is that it sits really close to your body, so you tend to get your hands in, uh, you get your knees in, you get your chin in, um, sometimes it's so close to the top tube when you're in the tuck that um, you know you can't really see the road. It's really good for technical uh, descending. Um, it follows your body. You can see the bike move underneath you, which is a really good thing. Um, yeah, but for filming other people, it's probably not the best um, uh, mount or setup to have. So. Yeah, I'd save, save the chesty for those where you want to get people really into that um, first person view. The last one um, in the comparison there was the helmet mount, and that's probably my preference for recording um, a descent. The thing is, it's really heavy, and you've got to get it positioned well um, on your helmet, so preferably right at the back of your helmet. And you've also got to get the, um, the angle right on the camera, so uh, you're not looking down at the ground. 
Um, it is susceptible to having um, a tilt on it if your helmet's tilting or if your head's tilting um, one way or the other. Um, I guess that could be avoided with a gimbal, but you know, just got to work with what you've got at the moment. Um, yeah, so not sponsored by GoPro. Um, anyone with a gimbal out there, they want to loan me, be happy to test it too. All right, that's all for me. So um, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. So look forward to catching up with you soon.